Infiltrate the sanctuary and find their meeting room. I can't wait to see number one's face. They must be on high alert. Keep out of sight until I give you the signal. Matthews and I spent the entire weekend sanding the ship's hull. Next Sunday, we'll apply the anti-fouling. Shut up with the boats. It's making me sick. Hey, check this out. What?
was shot three times in the chest. What did you do with his body? The police arrived, and I was unable to retrieve it. But I assure you, he couldn't have stifled. Gentlemen, number 13 is still alive. We must get rid of him before he wrecks the operation. He knows we betrayed him. He wants revenge. ahead with operations. <clears throat> Number one safety is not an issue, General. I'm the only one who knows his identity. Anonymity is more effective than an army of bodyguards. The instructions are clear. We're going ahead with operations. In that case, we'd better go reassure our guests. Um, don't forget your robe. Stay posted in this room. Yes, sir. Some banquet, indeed. Number five wanted to give us a taste of the luxury that awaits us. How will we explain his absence to the guests? I don't know yet. He's not the only one missing. Ooh. Ooh. 
can.
The voice of our country's elite will soon be heard. Together, we will lay down the foundations of a new America. Proud, strong, and sound. An America purged of all the parasites that have for too long deprived it of its true grandeur. Colonel Amos here. Don't move in before my signal. We need as much information as possible before I launch the assault. The maneuvers will be launched tomorrow morning during Operation Total Red. When number three gives the signal, the SPADS units, supervising the armed forces, will impose martial law on the entire country. In less than 24 hours, the new government will be in place. Let us rejoice in advance at the success of our enterprise and duly celebrate the dawn of a new era! Let's not keep the buffet waiting, gentlemen. That's all we need. Leave the sanctuary.
not fly. I'm sending in a chopper. Senator Walter Sheridan? Carrington told me everything. I want to help you apprehend my brother's killers. There are 20 conspiracy leaders, all of them with influential positions. Their goal is to abolish democracy in our country by imposing a totalitarian regime. Theirs is a monstrous plan. They aim to take control of the country's strategic network during the war simulation tomorrow. The control center is located in SSH-1. I have access there any time of day or night. That's where we'll find number one. I'm going with you. And then, General, we'll resume our little chat where we left off. Run to accounting and ask them any question you can come up with about the budget. That'll justify our presence here. As for us, Colonel Marshall, we're heading to the command station. Senator Sheridan's delegation has just arrived. Yes, Mr. President. The President's advisor will see you now. 
After you, Senator. SSH-1, Senator Sheridan. Hello, Calvin. Splendid of you to see us. There's a bit of a problem, Walter. Colonel Marshall cannot accompany us. I have strict orders from President Galbraith. But I... Our staff is overworked, sir. The President prefers sparing them any added aggravation. I apologize, Colonel Marshall. Let's go, Sheridan. Operations are about to be launched. I'll walk you out, Colonel. Good day, Colonel. Good evening, Colonel. 